Floss Tube. My name is Jani, and this is my second Floss Tube video. And this video is all about cross stitch. So here we go again. Um, first of all, I want to give out a big shout out to Sam Bree Stitches for um, mentioning me in her Floss Tube video. Um, she was very generous to do that, so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> and also, I forgot. Um, there was, uh, some needle minders that I got and I didn't say the name of the person that I ordered them from, from my last floss tube and it's Kim's needle minders on Etsy. So, um, she, uh, there was a situation that happened where, um, I didn't get them on time and they got lost in the mail and she sent out the second, uh, order and it came really quickly and so just great customer service so um, I just wanted to say <clears throat> Kim's needle minders is um, and I love the the needle minders that I got from her so anyways wanted to do a shout out for her too um, first of all I want to just kind of give you a little bit more information about me um, since I did a short video my, on my first boss tube. Um, some of the books that I read are, I like mysteries, um, not real hardcore, but just, I don't know, Mary Jane Clark, Mary Higgins Clark, those types of mysteries. Um, but I'm always in search for a really good read, um, some novels, stuff like that. Um, and I like like trilogies, um, those can be really fun too. Um, music, I like anything but heavy metal and rap. I, those two I just don't care for. Um, so mainly I listen to, um, country or I like my Pandora, which has 80s, 90s, 70s, I mean, the whole gambit. So, um, pretty open with my music. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, some of my other hobbies that I do is I crochet and, uh, what is this? Oh, I do some latch hook kits, but not very many, just a few. Um, and I did genealogy a few years ago, a couple years ago with my mom. Um, that's a lot of time and, and I enjoyed it and I loved it. Um, but part of me... I mean, part of me, I'd like to get back in it a little bit because it's so interesting to me. Um, but part of me, it's like, it's so much and so intense. Um, it takes up a lot of time um, digging and researching. So, but um, I did find out that I am uh, from England and Germany are my, uh, where I come from or I guess, how do you want to say it? My ratio is the highest in those areas. And then I have a little bit of Norwegian in me and Sweden. <clears throat> so that was fun. That was fun to find out. Um, let's see. I tried uh, learning how to make a quilt. Uh, I had a friend that showed me the way and it was fun, um, but I don't think I can do, ever do it again. I had a hard time picking out fabrics that I wanted to make into a quilt and since there's so much to choose from I couldn't narrow it down um it, it was my brain just went bonkers so I, I couldn't do it so um so let's see what else um oh I've tried knitting and I can't do that my fingers just won't work and and uh, so I don't even try anymore. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, also I wanted to kind of um, elaborate a little bit more um, with my husband and I not being able to have kids. I found out, uh, what was it, how's it been? About four or five years ago, um, I had uh, found out I had a a cyst on my ovary from um, endometriosis 
and they had to remove a cyst, call it a chocolate ovary. So for those of you that are in the medical field, you probably know what that is. So um, thankfully it wasn't cancerous, um, but uh, extremely, extremely painful. So I'm glad that's done and over with. So, um, but yeah, one of the doctors I had probably in my 20s told me, he goes, couldn't confirm for sure that I had endometriosis, but, um, but yeah. So unfortunately I found out that um, a couple of my aunts on my dad's side had it. So, um, cause everybody in my family has been able to have kids, um, you know, except for the couple uh, on my dad's side. And so unfortunately that's where I got it from. So anyways, uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, I wanted to share, well, about three things that I've learned since, <clears throat> excuse me, watching Floss Tube. Um, the very first one that blew me away, the concept was um, that you could work on more than one project at a time, cross-section project at a time. I was like, and I hear so many people on Floss Tube talk about that. And I'm like, it's just so bizarre to me that we were in that mindset that you could only do one at a time, you know? And so those of you that had, you know, the idea to do more than one at a time <clears throat> and share it with the world, you know, kudos to you guys. Thank you. But yeah, mind blowing over that. And I never heard of um, Lugana and Joblin fabric. Um, it just, yeah, blew my mind. Um, you know, I had to watch a few videos and I'm like, you know, and research and learn and, you know, which is awesome. So, you know, I've grown so much um, in the last couple of years. Um, one other tool that, uh, that I never even thought of to use was um, a seam ripper. You know, I, I was just like, who would have thought? You know, it's a it's, uh, game changer for me. You know, I mean, zip, 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 and it's done. Um, and I can go on cross-stitching. I just love it. Um, and also, uh, uh, what are they called? Um, oh, I have it here, here. These little guys. I just love those too. They can help a lot. Make my stitching go faster because I'm slow. I'm really slow. So, <clears throat> let's see. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, also I forgot. I wanted to mention too. Um, a little bit about me. My uh, favorite uh, TV shows as of lately is Million Little Things. And I've watched Survivor on and off um through the 20 years or however long they've been doing it so um been pretty cool and then also i'm a big uh hallmark fan for christmas shows um i except for the cheesy ones you know there's some that come out that are really good you know so um anyways a little, that's a little bit about me um so i think i'm going to probably start uh I don't know. I'll just I'll just start. Anyways, this is what I've been working on for a little while now and wanting to get it done. So we'll see. But uh, hopefully by the end of the spring I can have it finished stitching, and then we'll see about FFOing. But um, this is Country Cottage Needlework Spring, and I'm just loving, 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 loving the purple color of the fabric. Um, and this is 32 count Lagana. Um, so yeah, just loving it. How the colors are coming out on it. Um, I did st stitch some of this. Um, that I'll show you. It's uh, Gold Collection Petite's Meowy Christmas. I started it and I didn't finish it. And since it's past Christmas, I kind of fell out of it. So hopefully I'll pick it up um, sometime in the fall to hopefully finish it. So here's Yowie yeah, Christmas, what it looks like. I mean, those cats are just adorable. 
So I just love that. Um, oh, and if you can hear my dogs barking, I'm sorry. It's like I'm trying to video this. My husband's gone, and so it's like um, trying to <laughs> put them somewhere where they're they're. Um, because uh, if they in their they if they're in the backyard they're barking if they're in the TV room they're barking so it's like ah so but I knew I wanted to get this done so we'll see how much the barking comes across I may not have to upload it I don't know so we'll see but here's my progress that I did on you know Christmas as far as I got like I said I'm slow but as long as I'm enjoying my stitch. That's all that matters. So, and here's another gold collection petite that I picked up. It's uh, Santa's Secret. Probably a lot of you have seen it. But I just love that. I'm a big Christmassy type fan stitcher, as you'll see. A lot of my stuff. I have some other stuff that I, it's not, but. Um, I picked up this at uh, Acorns and Threads when I was there, I think. When was that? I can't remember. Anyways, um, it's Stony Creek Cross Stitch Collection. I love snowmen. I collect snowmen. So, yeah, that was a no-brainer for me to pick up. So, I'm not sure when I'll stitch it, but I have it for when I have the fabric and all that stuff. Um, here's, <coughs> excuse me, I have quite a bit of gold collection uh, dimensions kits. So, um this one's called the treasured time i don't know when i'll get to it but just love it i mean yeah imagine yourself in that scene whoops sorry you guys I bumped the the thing okay here's another uh, gold collection this is santa's nap oh just so sweet yeah, can't wait to start that too. I want to start all of them, but it's like I have so much, I'm like, which one do I start? You know, getting overwhelmed with, because everything's so cute and I want to stitch it all. And so anyways, but you know, one day at a time. Um, this I picked up a long time ago, probably at Michael's, and I don't know if it's still available or not, but um, it's Snow Much Fun. And um not sure by Ursula Michaels, but there's a pattern in here that I want it to stitch eventually. Let's see if I can get it in there. Jingle bells. I mean, come on you guys. That is so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um also in there there was um a couple towels that i had stitched because like i said i've been stitching for about 15 years so um this one i finished the other one i hadn't yet because i got tired of it and bored with it and but i need to pick it back up and finish them but here's the first towel that i did i think i fell out of love with the fact that it's a bigger stitch count and you know, I like stitching smaller stitch count, the 18 count, what, 36 count, stuff like that. Um, I'm not really into the 14 or 16 count. 16 maybe, well, 32 count Lagana, but um, I, I guess it just depends. So here's the, the second towel that, um, but I never finished, but I need to. And then, uh, this was my very first cross stitch start and I never finished it because I found out I messed up and this is before I knew about seam rippers and this and that and found out that uh, as I was trying to get pregnant and I got frustrated and so um, I stopped stitching it but that's as far as I got and I've been debating whether I should pick it out and finish it and I don't know. I mean, part of me, I love it because of snowmen. I mean, come on. But then the other part of me is like, I don't know. I don't know. So, anyways. Um, and then one last thing, or two things. Um, 
that I have that I've picked up through the years is Fat Flakes. There's those two. And then there's that one that I did that I hadn't finished that I told you guys about. So yeah, it's a lot of cute snowmen, if you're into snowmen. Um, and here's another Jet, Jeanette Crew Designs City Flakes. love those let's see if you can they're all so cute okay now on to a couple of few different get away from Christmas um, let's see the thing I think I like watching about Floss Tube is uh, I learned this one thing I learned or whatever from watching well among many things but of this mom's cooking and um what is it andrea i heart cross stitch or something or andrea say cross stitch i can't remember anyways she was doing this i can't remember if she finished it or not but she said that um she didn't like the floss and the fabric um and so it was a great tip because um Otherwise, I would have started it and stitched it and not liked it. And so, um, so I'm going to go and get different floss for it and different fabric. And um, so I can't wait to do that one. And then this one, I just came across and ordered it from eBay. Um, it's an orca whale pattern because, like I said, I collect orca whales. So, you know, how can I resist that? But this one is a Janlin uh my mind just went blank. Uh, kit. Counted cross stitch. And it is. Oh. Oh, free at sea. There it is. Oh. Yeah. For those of us in the Pacific Northwest, I could imagine. So beautiful. So beautiful. Anyways. Um. And then this one I picked up, oh, five, ten years ago. I started it, and I think I, I mean, I just barely five stitches in or ten stitches in. I don't know. Anyways, and I knew I messed up, so. Um, and it was more complica complicated than what I realized. And so um, I set it down. I haven't picked it up yet. But since time's passed, you know, I thought maybe I might readdress this. But I want to get different fabric. So I gotta do that once all this COVID-19 stuff is over with and, you know. Um, anyways, so I just hope that ends soon and everybody's safe and it's just terrible, just terrible. So um, my heart goes out to all you guys that are right in the thick of it. Um, thankfully I work from home so I don't have to get out in it much. Um, my husband, um, he has to be out in it. He uh, uh, drives truck so it's pretty local um, Washington Oregon Idaho area so um, but yeah so we, we try to be really careful and um, so just pray to, to God that this ends soon so anyways speaking of that I guess um, this is um, oh shoot Christ at Heart's Door Designs for the Needle. I've just always, always, always admired this. <clears throat> so, just gorgeous. Um, and then last but not least, I got three dimensions uh, gold kits again. Um, that I've had for a few years and probably thankfully you know glad I've waited um, to start them because I've learned so much in these last this last year so um, that could help me in, in doing these harder patterns so um, but this first one is Alan Malay's gracious era 
and I just love, I mean, love this, like, like, I wish, or not I wish, I feel like sometimes it's like, this is the era that, you know, I was born in if I was, you know, the whole reincarnation thing or whatever, but, um, I don't know, I've just always, um, loved that era. Here's winter impressions. Just gorgeous. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these before or whatever, but just wanted to share that this is part of my stash. And I thought about stitching this, um, but then decided to hold off um, this spring or whatever and started spring by Country Cottage Needleworks instead, but this is Milady's Chateau. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I don't know if these are still available or not. Um, so, um, they might be out there somewhere. I'm not sure. So, I think that's it for now, for today. Um, this second floss tube video feels a little bit better you know not so I don't know last time it seemed rushed but this same this feels like it's getting better so um I'm slowly getting the hang of it so that's a good thing um so yes yeah, I'm trying to think it's always hard to say you know until next time or whatever you know the the closing so I guess with that I will say um probably see you in another month um, and hopefully this COVID is gone. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.